Was video talk the deal of the century or did I just flush 200 euros down the toilet? In today's video, I'm going to create the first new video talk in the style that I actually want. I'm going to grab a clip of me talking in a previous video and then I'm going to turn that into video talk and we're going to see if my voice, my script plus video talk can create a cool short. And I'm even going to do a follow up later on this week where we check out how many views it got to see if it was even worth the effort. This is the final test to see if I made the right decision. Let's dive right into it. I recently signed up for the lifetime deal of video talk and it's been a couple of days. I haven't made a video yet. I realized that this is a great chance for me to show you exactly how I'm gonna use the tool. So I'm gonna make my first video since then with you watching. I edit all my videos into script. I'm a huge fan of this tool. One of the cool features is after I edit a video, I can click this little button, ask AI and ask it to suggest clips. This is the exact same algorithm all of the other tools use, the more expensive tools, the clip specific tools, but it's a lot easier for me to modify it. It's not going to pick the perfect clip, but it usually gives a recommendation. And we're going to use that to make a video in video talk. Once it makes its options, I'm going to click select and script so that it highlights them. And intro is good. I want to see if there's something better. Go through the three rules of chatbot arena. So you can see that it will also automatically play when I click on it. Let's see if we can find one that's a little better. It's not always perfect. Okay. I just want to add that one sentence before it. I right click and choose duplicate to new composition. I'm going to open that new composition here. And I'm going to use this script inside of video talk. So let's go to video talk. Click on your script. And now it has an English male warm voice. I want AI images. Let's choose a different style. I want to choose a different style each time. I'm going to choose GTA and we're going to generate the video. It says don't leave the page. A good warning there. I'll be back in a couple of minutes when this is ready. Now it's time to see how the video turned out. Let's open our video and we're going to hit play. Here is the chatbot arena where they benchmark LMS in the wild. This has three. So it often, there's a bit of a delay between when it says it's ready and when it's actually ready. Three rules. Number one, you're going to ask questions of the two models. Number two, you don't know who you're talking to. You don't know who model A is, and you don't know who model B is. Number th three, if you somehow get them to reveal themselves and the chatbot says, hey, I'm Claude three, or I'm chat okay. GBD four, <laughs> then the vote doesn't count. It immediately disqualifies. So let's see, there's a mistake there. Let's see if it's my fault. I didn't change it. Did it say chat GBD4? Yeah. So that's the first lesson. If you don't check the script, you're going to run into issues, but we can actually fix it here in this script. Yeah. So this should say P T. It's not a big deal. Chat GPT4. Let's keep playing. Which means we aren't able to put our thumbs on the scale for our favorite chatbots. And that is a good thing. So overall, I already know <laughs> there's a bunch of things I don't like about this video and they're all my fault. <laughs> I should have done this a different way. I have a couple of ideas that I want to test, however, and this is giving me a lot of good ones. Let me get ready and let's do the next video. I have a pretty cool idea. I think I know how I'm going to make this better. It's very important that you check the script before you send it to a tool you're paying for. I have to pay for those 38 seconds probably. It doesn't matter. I doubt I'll max out my minutes this month, but that's my own fault. And I want you guys to see me in real action. I've turned my rough thing into a script. This is the first iteration. So I'm going to do this by hand before I start doing this with chat GBT. Eventually I'll switch to where I take my clip, throw it into chat GBT and do it this way. It just depends if I'm going to keep my original audio or not. This process is for if I don't want to keep my original version, I want it to be a little tighter. So I modified the script. It took me about one or two minutes. And we're going to go back to video talk. Let's go to create. I didn't like the GTA look. It doesn't match me. 
The cyberpunk one I really like. I'm not sure that I like that voice. I'm going to try a couple of cool ideas. Let's just let them do video talk style. And we're going to generate the video. And this time we'll see if having a tighter script with no misspellings in it gets us a better result. We're getting closer. I didn't hate the last one, but I just realized I made some mistakes at the beginning. When you're making a video like this or any process, the earlier in the process you make a mistake, the bigger it becomes as you go through. It's better to just get it right at the beginning. Obviously, the script is really important. Lesson learned. Let's generate this video. Okay, we now have our next clip ready. Let's play this version. There is an arena where chatbots go head to head. You can run the same prompts to two chatbots side by side until you find the winner. Chatbot Arena has three rules. Number one, both chatbots get the same prompts. Number two, you don't know which chatbots are competing. Number three, if a chatbot reveals its identity, the match doesn't count. Fights will go on as long as they have to. It's getting better. The script is better. I don't love the voice. It's okay. And I think that I'm still trying to find which is my favorite style of AI generated images that they do. But this one's good enough for me to export. It says this can take up to 40 seconds. That's not so bad. I can probably talk for that long. What I'm going to do next is see if I can swap out the voice to my voice and it still sounds cool. We're going to open Audacity, which is a free program for recording audio. If you don't have Audacity, I absolutely recommend it. Even when I'm recording these videos, Audacity will record a vetted version of the same audio. You can open my script on a second screen and try to get it to be 23 seconds long. And now we're going to record the script. There is an arena where chatbots go head to head. You can run the same prompts to two chatbots side by side until you find the winner. Chatbot arena has three rules. Number one, both chatbots get the same prompts. Number two, you don't know which chatbots are competing. Number three, if a chatbot reveals its identity, that match doesn't count. Fights will go on as long as they have to. Pretty close to the correct length. We just need to crop it down. We need to get rid of that excess. Okay, now we're going to export it again. I want to make sure that this line is at the beginning. Now I can hit the plus. Hit the top view one, add new layer. Here, what I'm going to do, hit volume keyframe. Just drag it to the bottom. This will mute that channel. Now let's see how it looks when we play the video with my audio. Where chatbots go head to head. You can run the same prompts to two chatbots side by side until oh. <laughs> you find the winner. Chatbot Arena has three rules. Number one, both chatbots get the same prompts. Number two, you don't know which chatbots are competing. Number three, if a chatbot reveals its identity, that match doesn't count. Fights will go on as long as they have to. It's out of sync by like tenth of a second, but to me, this is legit. This is ready to run. I'm really pleased with this. I'm going to publish this. The max is 1080 because it's a vertical video. One of the cool the secrets of Descript, if you hit export, it will render using your computer. It will use my Mac M1 Mini, but if I hit publish, it uses the Descript servers and renders it super fast. I'm going to run this on the channel and give you guys the results in a couple of days to see how it does as far as views. Right out the gate, the raw version of Video Talk is okay, but it's not epic. There are a couple of things that I'm working on changing. The limited number of voices means if a ton of people are using Video Talk, all the videos will sound the same. I wanted to do a voice clone option. Descript wouldn't let me do it. We wanted a fully automated process. In a future video, I'm going to test another audio voice generator, merging that with the clips to see if we get a better result. I have a pretty cool idea for that that I'll cover in a later video. But I wanted to get this one out as quickly as possible to show you what I could create very quickly on a first try. And I want to create a bunch of videos where I test the different image style to see which of their video option styles I like the most. You might have liked the GTA style. So far, of all the ones I tried, I liked the cyberpunk style from the previous video the most. If you haven't watched that video, make sure you do to see why I decided to spend all this money with Video Talk. And make sure to hit the like button if you found this video interesting. I put a lot of effort into it, a lot of struggle, and I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys value. That lets me know which type of videos you like. If you hit subscribe, you'll see more videos like this one, and you'll see the follow-up video where I show the results of this video. Did it get any views? Did it get any clicks? Was it worth the effort? And more importantly, I'm going to do some follow-up videos where I refine this process. I believe I can design a really, really good 
short video creation process that has maximum efficiency, removes the need for me to provide my own voice, do my own recordings, any of that stuff, but I can still put out videos that sound exactly like me. So I'm going to do something very, very cool in a future video, and that's how you'll find out. And if you hit the bell, you'll get notified every single time I post a video, which obviously I appreciate the most. Whatever you decide to do, thank you so much for staying all the way to the end of this video. I hope you're as excited by this new tool as I am. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching one of my videos. Hit the like button and then I've got a couple of sweet videos that I think you're going to like. I've got one here and another one over here. You're going to love them.